Deuteronomy 13.4 Lo tishma el devare hanavi hahu O el halom ha halom hahu Ki menas hashem elochechem etachem Ladaat ha yishachem o havim et hashem elochechem Bechol Levavachem uvachol nafshechem. Now the setup comes to a prohibition with the negative low. You shall not listen to the words of that prophet or to uh, the dreamer of that dream or For the Lord your God is testing you to know, this is an interrogative particle, what there is to you loving the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Here we have the use of the demonstrative pronoun, but the far demonstrative, not this, but that. And it needs to agree with the noun in uh, gender, number, and definiteness, as it does. That prophet and that dream. So the dreamer of that dream. So in short, all this refers back up to the previous verse. The one, the prophet who says, or the dreamer who says, let's go after other gods, You shall not listen to them. And then very interesting, it's not uh, put somewhere else, but it's because the Lord your God is testing you. Very surprising that the Lord would use a dreamer of dreams or a prophet, a false prophet, in order to test the people. But that's what he takes credit for here. And we see here, uh, Manasseh is from Nasa, and it is a um, PL participle. So the Lord is testing you. And why is he testing? That he might know. This is a Peyod from uh, Yod Dalit Ayan to know, and we have here the Kal infinitive infinitive construct to know what there is to you loving uh, and this is um, loving O Havim this is Kal participle uh, masculine plural again the subject is you uh, your God your heart your soul. So then the verb here is whether y'all are loving the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul.